So continuing to field questions here for USMLE, Spider Spider, literally this dude's username within our Telegram group, wrote a paragraph question uh, regarding how to maximize score in the final two months. Uh, you have UWorld notes. Should you be reviewing those UWorld notes? Uh, should you be doing UWorld incorrects in your final two months, you ask? You've also done some of the clinical mastery series forms, five and six. You're studying for 2CK. I know many of you watching this are studying for step one. So in this clip, I will give you some concise value regarding how to maximize your score in the final two months, okay? So before we get started, allow me to be an asshole like I frequently am. Tell you to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Help grow this channel. Share with one of your friends prepping for your simile. Help bring awareness to this channel. Hit the like button. Hit the bell if you want notifications. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Link is down below. And find me on Telegram. Recently created a Telegram group and channel. The links are down below. Now let me address the fucking question from Spider Spider regarding how to maximize score augmentation in the final two months. And you're also asking about how should you revise UWorld, your notes, or should you be going through UWorld incorrects? Look, as I've discussed to the point of redundancy in many of my prior clips, uh, if you're studying for 2CK, in the final two months, you need to be assiduously reviewing the Clinical Mastery Series forms, as well as forms 6 through 11, the actual NBME exams. If you're, if you're studying for step one, you need to be hardcore reviewing NBME forms 20 through 30, okay? You need to be memorizing these questions. You need to be screenshotting your incorrects from these NBME exams to Clinical Mastery Series into a Word document, save as a PDF or PowerPoint, okay? Now, it goes without saying that every student's perfect uh, process in terms of maximizing score in the final weeks is never cookie cutter, okay? It would require a hypothetical discussion over Skype. But when I make broad umbrella statements for most of you guys watching this, the value point comes down to having conviction that reviewing the NBME material is your best bet for augmenting your score as much as possible during dedicated. Okay, there are certain points that require inculcation because of their degree of value and yieldness. Okay, you have pervasive beliefs that you world, your notes, your incorrects should be studied up into your exam, and that is not the real deal. Okay, the real US simile is the NBME content. And it is not as though we only have, let's say, one or two NBME assessments that we could go through as practice, and then we need to use UWorld just to fill in our time. We literally have thousands upon thousands of NBME questions available to us. If you do 20 through 30 for step one, yes, 25 through 30 are in line. But if you do 20 through 30, that's 11 forms, 200 questions per form. That's 2,200 questions. It's essentially a cubic. And you're studying for 2CK, the clinical mastery series forms. You've got PEDS, OPS and GYN, neuro, psych, etc. And you have forms one through six. Yes, there's going to be certain forms that are online. Some are offline now. But you can go through all of those forms, including... Uh, 6 through 11, the NBME exams. You need to really establish the point in your mind with a, in a definitive nature that reviewing the NBME content is how you're going to maximize your score during the final two months. Whether you review UWorld notes, that's fine. I mean, you can do that insofar as it doesn't interfere with your review of the NBMEs. I don't want you waking up and every day going through UWorld notes and UWorld incorrects if that means you are going to sacrifice your review of the NBME material and the Clinical Mastery Series material. We don't want that. You are afforded a degree of freedom to study as you want, but we need to make sure your core domain, your core pillar of getting through the NBME review is satisfied, is completed, okay? So you should e.g. wake up, do eight plus hours of NBME review in your final two months, the clinical mastery series forms, the NBMEs, okay? And in the evening, you could go through my free high yield PDFs, okay? Those are more effective than first aid. And you could review your UWorld notes if you wanted to, as an example. But the point is you need to make sure you review the NBME material, okay? We can make this an extended clip. I'm going to continue producing more content, as you know. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.